Up. You a friend of Kayla's or something? Name's JR. I'm. Wait. You're that fucking reporter! I was. Fucking up everyone's lives. <laughs> That's a real talent. Former miner. Get the fuck out of my face! What happens if I don't? I shatter your fucking face. You keep bothering me, and I'm gonna stop being nice. Watch it. The place is full of wood shavings. Why do you have an open flame? I don't remember asking for your opinion. Fair enough. I'm Kayla. What do you want? I'm looking for a guy named Dickie. Don't know where he is and don't care. He might be off with his stupid quad bike thing for all I know. Quad bike thing? Loud. Goes off-road, has four wheels, makes you look like an asshole. Occasionally leaks gasoline and would have burned down the whole camp. Tyler didn't save his sorry ass with his fire extinguisher. Well, I'll see you around. I don't feel like you have to. Dickie must have one of those off-road quads. It could still be here right now. I need more info to figure out where Dickie is. And it was going well, it's just, I don't know, hard. It doesn't get easier. Oh, this is Sam. He's a friend. We used to date. Well, that much is painfully obvious. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. I'm Lynette. What are you here for, Sam? We're looking for Dickie. Yes, Anna told me. She's not going to help us find him. I do not throw people to the wolves. And you, Sam, are a wolf. You've never had any trouble with him. This is my land. All those who have lost their home are welcome to it. As long as they can follow a few simple rules. Even if Dickie lives on the fringe of our community, he is one of us. All he wants is to be left alone. I would think you of all people would understand. I read the article Anna wrote about you and this place. Wait, you read it? When? Nick's fishing shack. Oh. What led you to create this community? I found there were souls in need of help after the mine closed. The world is a cruel place. 
We all need a touch of kindness in our lives. You're definitely that, Lynette. Thank you, my dear. But don't sell yourself short. Your article brought Kayla here, and even some generous donations have come in. Did you get your answer, Sam? What kind of donations? Food and clothes, mostly. But jobs are hard to come by these days. We must rely on the kindness of others. Even if their kindness comes and goes in waves. I'll go now. Thanks for indulging me. Naturally. Clock's ticking. Cops will start looking for me soon. So Dickie lives here, but his place should be isolated from the others. I'm getting there. Just need a bit more info to close in on Dickie. Tyler, right? Jackass, right? Some people call me that, yeah. Huh. I'll bet. How do you end up in a place like this? None of your goddamn business. How did you and Anna meet? You're not the type she normally hangs out with. Maybe you're not the type she normally hangs out with. You ever consider that? Trust me, I have. Just tell me where Dickie is and I'll leave. Either that or you'll leave when I break your face. Look, Anna's a friend. She spent some time down here with us to do that interview thing. Told my story did good by me, by us. And that guy that came after her, Nick, he's solid. Came down here three or four times. Taught me a great recipe for bass. But you, you're just some asshole. Dickie's one of ours. Don't think you're getting anywhere near his trailer. So beat it before I break your knees. So Dickie is in one of the trailers. That narrows down my search. Quad. Isolated. Someone lives here. That's where Dickie's hiding. Time to pay him a visit. I only know you by reputation, and what I know I don't like. You don't get to just gallivant around here however you damn well please. So back the hell off, or I will fuck you up. Hey, I don't want any trouble, just sorry. I should kick your ass out of principle. Hey man, this guy ain't worth it. Just forget him. But if he doesn't get the message soon, I'll help you work him over. Got it. Got it. I'm gonna get past these two if I want to reach Dickie. I need to get them to look away from his trailer. Around Kayla's tent is the most efficient spot for a distraction. It's at the opposite end of the camp. They'd have their backs turned to me, but I still need a place to hide. They'd suspect me right away. Cabin stands right in the middle of the camp, far enough from everyone for them to not notice me. Close enough to reach Dickie before they come back. That'd be my best shot. I have a plan. All that remains is to figure out the details. Pre-Socratic philosophy. Dog-eared and well-read. I saw this picture in Ethan's bar, only intact. Guess I know who's been cut out. She fits right in. Anna always fits right in. Shovel, hose, 
items. Bucket. Nothing useful, but there's enough room to hide in here. It's deep enough. Could squeeze in here. If they're in a panic, they might not see me hiding under this. Flammable lacquer and varnish. This thing catching fire is sure to divert attention. It's out of the way, so no one should get hurt, but there will be lots of chaos. I just need to work out the exact details. These shavings would be perfect kindling. It won't take long for the fire to reach those, and when it does, they'll go up in flames in a second. Need to account for that. If I lit the wood shavings, the varnish on the statue would ca- Varnish. Can's empty. Probably used on that statue. Very flammable stuff. The statue will be collateral damage once the fire spreads. No other option. These shavings would be perfect kindling. I can get the fire going, but it won't do any good if they put it out right away. I need to check for ways they could put it out. The fire needs to burn long enough to distract, but small enough to be manageable. Don't want to see the whole place go up in flames. I saw a fire extinguisher in here earlier. If Tyler gets it, the fire might not burn long enough for me to reach Dickie. If I hid Tyler's keys, It'd take him longer to get the fire extinguisher from his trunk. No use. They won't let me anywhere near his trailer. I need a distraction. If I sabotage Lynette's old hose, she'll have to find something else to put the fire out with. I've got everything I need, but I won't be able to do it by myself. I need Anna's help. Hey, uh, Anna. Can I have a quick sidebar? I found him. Where? The goon squad won't let me near it. Lynette isn't gonna be any better. They look after their own. I can get there, but I'll need your help. What exactly are you planning? I need to create a distraction to get to Dickie. Setting the bear statue outside Kayla's tent on fire would work, but it's critical I wait for Anna to act first, or I won't have enough time. Then I can use a match to ignite the splinters and get the fire started. I'll have to get out of there before Lynette and Kayla can close in on me. After that, I'll hide in the cabin. Tyler and JR will leave to put the fire out. It'll give me a window of opportunity to run to Dickie's trailer unnoticed.
Lynette will go for her hose. She's right next to it. Definitely a problem. do it. No one will see me get to Dickie. I need to time everything carefully. I'll only get one shot. You'll have to be cautious. I need you to sabotage the water hose. Unscrew the cap where it attaches so there's no pressure. Okay, but why? Do you trust me? Yes. Then trust me. been looking for you. We need to talk. Oh no, look. I'm real sorry I clocked you and shit. Clock me? You were the one that broke into Anna's house. You took something from Nick's computer. What was it? Where is it? I didn't know what was gonna happen, man. I swear. I'm a nobody, all right? I'm just a guy trying to get by, that's all. I just want to take care of my moms and live life, man. And I've been trying to find a way out all my life. I just agreed to talk to him, but just like a quote or something. I don't have time. What did you steal? His notes about his article, about the dealing and the, the drugs and names of dealers, and sellers, buyers, everything. I had to or I was gonna be next. You've gotta believe me. What'd you do with them? Where are they? I don't have them, man. I left the stick at the dead drop up at Makeout Point. He'll pick it up soon and then it's done. No proof, nothing. Who's coming for it? Tell me who's coming for it. My boss, Declan. His name is Declan. Declan? Yeah, the cop. You know him, everyone knows him. Oh man, I'm totally fucked now. When he hears I snitched again, I'm fucking done. But how was I supposed to know Nick was gonna stir shit up? Are you saying he's involved in Nick's death? Tell me. Come on, just let me go. Please, I already told you everything. No, just let me go, all right? I really gotta leave town before he finds me. I'm begging you, man. Let me go. Let me... You're not going anywhere until you tell me what happened. So? Oh, hell, man. 
Declan made me set up a meet with Nick, all right? I, I thought they were just gonna talk and shit. Nick freaked out when he saw Declan. He, he tried to bail. But Declan caught up and hit him behind the head. Then Nick dropped, man. He dropped like that. Declan said he didn't mean to. He said it was an accident and shit. He killed Nick. I didn't know, man. You gotta believe me. I never wanted... Man, he didn't... He didn't say... Hey, ass wife! Should've known. Damn firebug. I'm gonna kick the shit out of you. Sam. Come on. You fucking coward! Show me, give me my rifle! Why would Declan do that? He was always a stand-up cop. Now he's a crime boss? No time to think about it. Right now, we need to get to that dead drop. Nick probably gathered enough evidence to reveal what Declan was up to. Our word against his won't cut it. That stick is the only way we'll take him down. Or maybe you could just stay out of this? Declan's trying to save his skin. If you go against him on that promontory, you'll be trapped in a corner. This isn't a game. This isn't a puzzle. And you're dealing with a man whose go-to solutions to problems has been to kill them away. Remember what you promised Joe. Anna will not be safe where you're going. You can't bring Nick back, but you can still save yourself and Anna. Breathe. Focus. Think it through. Declan's already killed two people. Sam, I know it's been a rough day, but you're freaking me out. Stop zoning out. We're just about there, and I need you to help me figure out our next steps. Next steps? At a place where someone might put a bullet through your head. No, that's too dramatic. It'll probably be something quiet, simple. Make it look like you killed yourself. Took too many pills. Who'd question that? You're not thinking clearly. What are you looking at? You're focused on finding the facts and not focused on the very real dangers. You need to focus on the road, not on whatever daydream you're lost in. Just... just stop. You're the one that needs to stop. Sam, you're going too fast. You need to stop. Leave me Sam, alone. stop it. Sam! Sam! Sam, stop. there's a turret! Stop! Stop! Sam! Stop! Stop! stop. got us killed. I need... I need a moment. Take your moment, but make it quick. We're already at the promontory. We need to find that dead drop before Declan gets here. We need to talk. Yes, Sam, it's time. Ah, uh, what's happening? Sam, I can't. Where are you going? Get back here. I'm trying, but it's not working. Ah! No! Ah! I'm in control of my own mind. Where are you? Can you hear me? Can you even hear me? freak out. You've been through this before. Ugh, I'm back in the same room again. Stick to the fundamentals. Breathe. Focus. You can make it out. It still keeps going. It feels like I'm trapped in a maze. I wish there'd been another way. There you are. You and 
I need to talk. What? What's happening? Remember the facts, Sam. That's how you'll get through this. I'm losing control of my own mind again. I'm almost making it a habit. At least I'm not being chased this time. Right? Wonder what's in store for me now. Back to square one. Maybe it's not about which door I go through so much as which door I choose. choice and stick to it. Always tackle a problem head on. Of course. There's no running away from it. that right now. You think you know who Nick was? Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does.
started to get serious. They both deserve to be happy. Is that? Your mother told me what happened. I know she's always pushing you to make friends. Yeah. Well, she's just afraid you'll end up alone. She doesn't want you to be unhappy. Is she happy? Not always. But I'm not always happy either. Being happy isn't everything. I'd say it's more important to find out who you want to be than to be happy. Here, I brought you something. It's so clear. I can see it all at once. That's what gives it strength. It has nothing to hide. It can see itself for what it really is. And that lets it see everything. It's not a flaw. It's a gift. Like a, a superpower, you know? When the world is a storm, you stand calm at the center. Now, I need to have a real talk with myself. Where are you? Follow me! What? Which one are you? Sam? 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 Where are you? Sam? Sam, where are you? Sam, where Sam, are you? Where are you? Sam, where are you? Sam! Sam, come with me. You and me, Sam, we can do this. Sam? Sam? Sam, where are you? Sam! Sam, where are you? Follow me, Sam! Sam! Sam, where are you? Sam, where are you? 
Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Sam, put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. Leave Muley. I don't have a lot of friends. No one at school talks to me, and you promised. You're leaving town just like that. Not even an explanation for an old friend. He cares. Tell him how much you hurt. He cares. Tell him how much you hurt. Apologize. She's a kid, Sam. She wouldn't get it. Just say you're really sorry. Leave Muley. I don't have a lot of friends. No one at school talks to me, and you promised. He cares. Tell him how much you hurt. Tell him the reasons. Give him a few and he'll be fine. Apologize. He wants to know it's not his fault. Maybe tell him you'll call. Everyone in town is making my life miserable and no one trusts me. I gotta go. Yeah, uh, I see. Yeah, you do, do you? Everyone in town is making my life miserable, and no one trusts me. I gotta go. Yeah, uh, I see. Yeah, you do, do you? Tell him the reasons. Give him a few, and he'll be fine. He cares. Tell him how much you hurt. Everyone in town hates me. I think Anna hates me. I... I think I hate me. I have to get away from this place or I'm gonna die here. Inside at least. I get it. Just know I've always got your back. No matter where you go. Quick, toss the ring. Make a joke. If you don't manage to save face, it's over. Listen to her. Sometimes there's not a right thing to say. Tell her you want this. Be forward. She'll reconsider. If you don't, it's over. That's what we were supposed to do. 
I'm sorry. I just... I just wanted to fix things. Sam, did you really think doing something neither of us wanted would fix anything? Apologize. She's a kid, Sam. She wouldn't get it. Just say you're really sorry. Promise her that you'll be back. She'll like that. Explain yourself to her. Or try to. As best you can. She deserves that. Apologize. She's a kid, Sam. She wouldn't get it. Just say you're really sorry. It's not up to me. I'd stay with you if I could. I'm sorry. Forgive me, please. Why are you lying? I know you want to leave. What happened to you, Millie? I hope you never come back. Promise her that you'll be back. She'll like that. Explain yourself to her. Or try to. As best you can. She deserves that. Apologize. She's a kid, Sam. She wouldn't get it. Just say you're really sorry. It's not you, Bug. It's this town. It's Anna. It hurts and I can't stay. None of that is my fault. I know, but I still have to go. It's not fair. I understand, but it's not fair. I guess you finally win for once. step I've taken since. I'm ready.
It's been a long road. I think it was always coming here. You know? You've opened yourself up a lot more than I expected. Especially to Joan and Anna. You're finally back on the right path. I believe some of the credit is mine. It's real easy for you to judge me from your space inside my head. It's been a bumpy ride, but you showed promise, and that's good enough for me. I'm sure if we keep at it, we'll make a fine and upstanding citizen of you yet. You always make it sound like you care, but all you want is to change me. We keep hitting the same wall over and over again. The two halves of your world, they just don't mix. There's Sam, the well-adjusted human. And there's Sam, the depressed, truth-obsessed misanthrope, who doesn't realize objective reality is a subjective myth. I'll tell you what the truth is. To be happy, Sometimes you need to focus on people and not things. Facts. What? They're facts, not things. And they should matter to everyone. Yeah, well, they don't. They might not even matter at all. Tell Nick that. Look. You've been helping me for a long time. Even today, without you, I would still be lost in my own head, in my own panic. Well, technically, that's kind of the case right now. Still, I'll take the compliment. But we both know I can't be split in two directions. I have to pick a track. Go along with me. Be a part of society, be happy. Let things go, accept the expectations of others. Stop pretending you're someone else. Or keep looking for a truth that may not exist and leave everyone else behind. But seeing the world for what it is, being able to make a difference, no matter the consequences. It's time. Two roads, and you can only take one. society. Damn being happy. I was afraid you'd say that. But you have to be you. I'll see you around. No, you won't, Sam. But good luck. The world is an ugly place when you can really see it. Sam, we don't have time for this. No cell reception. If anything happens, we're on our own. <laughs> 